Okay, these are video solutions to the pretest for Unit 7, which deals with trigonometry. And um, so we'll run through these and suggest a few different ways that you can uh, come up with these values if, uh, if trigonometry without a calculator has been a difficult uh, experience for you. Um, the first one here, they asked for the sine of 0, and it's important to understand that all the measurements for uh, trigonometric angles will be done in radians throughout the calculus. And uh, so they're asking for the sine of 0 radians, although 0 radians, 0 degrees, it's the same on either scale. Um, the uh, couple ways you can do it, um, you might just utilize the uh, graph concept, and of course, if you commit the... Uh, the sine graph to memory, it looks roughly like this, uh, with a domain going from 0 to 2 pi, and a range going from uh, minus 1 to 1. Um, of course, these points would be uh, pi over 2, and then pi radians, and 3 pi over 2 would be here. Um, and so you can pick up the highs and lows, and uh, things like that real easily from the graph. Now in this case, of course, they want the sine of zero, and uh, so the sine of zero is zero. Um, if you went to uh, pi over two, if you went to 90 degrees, then the sine would be one. Uh, at 180 degrees, the uh, sine is back at zero. At 270 degrees, or three pi over two, you get a, a sine value of negative one, and uh, then you are back to the start at sine of 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. Of course, the trig graph is cyclical, and it just continues uh, in that way. Now, question number two here, they want, the, again, the sine. So we'll stay with this, uh, look at this graph here. The sine of pi over 4 corresponds, if you're still thinking in degree mode, corresponds to the sine of 45 degrees. And so you want to be sure that you're able to, uh, if you need to, convert radian measure to uh, degree measure. And that's done by simply taking the argument, taking the, uh, the angle that you're given, and uh, multiplying it by 180 and dividing by pi if it uh, makes it more comfortable for you to work in and think in degree measure rather than radian measure. Um, so, for instance, in this case, if you have pi over uh, 4 and you want to convert that to degree measure, you multiply by 180 and divide by pi. And so, obviously, multiplication, division, inverse operations, the pi's will cancel. And as it turns out, 180 divided by 4 is 45. So this corresponds to 45 degrees. Now, 45 degrees, pi over 4, would be right in here on our graph. And it's, you can't really read it off the graph. It's not uh, like 0 or 90 degrees, where it's you're, you're at the, the peak, or at uh, 3 pi over 2, you're at the bottom of the uh, valley, so to speak, in here. So a couple other ways you can do 45 degrees or pi over 4. You can commit a chart to memory. Um, we talked uh, in one of the videos earlier about doing sine, cosine, tangent, perhaps uh, on the vertical, and then running across the top with your common angles of 0, 30 degrees, uh, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, and then uh, using those as reference angles if the uh, angle is outside of the first quadrant, beyond the first quadrant. Um, and some people uh, said this works pretty well for them. Um, sine of 0, we've already mentioned, is 0. Sine of 30 is a half. Sine of 45 degrees is uh, square root of 2 over 2. And the sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. Um, sine of 90 is 1. Then in terms of the cosine, it's sort of uh, just out of phase with the sine graph. The uh, cosine of 0 is 1. And the uh, cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. The uh, cosine of 45 degrees is the same as the sine of 45 degrees. It's square root of 2 over 2. And the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. And the cosine
cosine of 90 degrees is back to zero. So you can see that when you compare the uh, sine and the cosine values, as you run left to right, they're the same for cosine, just running uh, right to left. And so pretty easy to commit that to uh, memory if need be. Now the tangent of zero is zero. The uh, other notable ones are the tangent of 45 degrees happens to be one. And the tangent of 90 degrees does not exist. There is no tangent for 90 degrees. It's undefined, right? Um, now the other two, the 30 and the 60 degree angle, the uh, tangent of 30, you can write it a couple of ways. You can write it as the uh, square 3 over 3. Um, you might write it as 1 over the square 3. Either one of those would be the same uh, value. And the uh, tangent of 60 degrees is simply the square 3. Okay. Um, nothing wrong with writing it as 1 over the square root of 3 if you're doing the tangent of 30 degrees. Um, all we did here was to rationalize it, writing it as square root of 3 over 3. Now, again, we'll just mention that uh, things won't be in degrees in the calculus. They'll be in radians, so that's 0. Uh, pi over 6. Pi over 4 corresponds to 45 degrees. Um, 60 degrees is pi over 3. And 90 degrees is pi over 2. So you might use the chart and then put yourself in the... Uh, in the reference, so in the quadrant you're in, if the angle is uh, beyond 90 degrees. So, uh, question number three: They want the cosine inverse, right? That little uh, syntax there, is with the little minus one up above it, is read cosine inverse, and basically it means uh, what angle um, has a cosine of square root of three over two. So it's sort of like you're reading this chart from the inside out. You're looking for a particular angle, in other words, one of these measurements up here, right? That's the question. Um, that has a cosine, so we're working on this center uh, row of a square root of 3 over 2. And as you look across those values, there's your, there's your square root of 3 over 2, and that corresponds to a 30 degree or a pi over 6 angle. So the, the angle that has a cosine is what that means. The angle that has a cosine of square root of 3 over 2. All right. And uh, as we said, you're, you look inside the chart, find the value you're looking for in the particular trig ratio um, row that you're dealing with, and then find out what angle that corresponds to. And in this case, that angle is pi over 6. So we're looking for the pi over 6 answer. If you entered 30, that would have been uh, counted as wrong because we are looking for all the angles to be in uh, radian measure. Um, clean this up just a little bit before we move on to question 4. And um, so it, we find many students who are asking questions about these uh, trigonometric topics uh, being done without a calculator and uh, finding them somewhat uh, difficult, so don't feel alone in that in that regard. Uh, number four, they want the tangent of pi radians, and again, we'll note for you that that corresponds to the tangent of 180 degrees. And uh, so maybe the easiest way to do that is to uh, know your tangent graph, and the tangent graph looks roughly like this. Again, at 90 degrees or at pi over 2, the tangent does not exist, so we have a vertical azimuth at pi over 2, as we do at 3 pi over 2, as we do at 270 degrees. And then into the second quadrant, it rises up, and then when you get to the third quadrant, of course, the tangent is positive, so you're seeing a, uh, a carbon copy of that first quadrant. And then in the fourth quadrant, as you roll back to... Uh, two pi radians, you get a copy of the second quadrant. So there's your, uh, there's your f of x equals tan x graph. And, and all that they've asked us is, what is the tangent of 180 degrees? And uh, of course, the tangent of 180 degrees from the graph can be seen as zero. So 
have some extra turns on it, so you'd have to do that. Um, in uh, number five, they want the sine of 3 pi over 4. And if you want to convert it to uh, 2 degrees, you can if you feel like that makes it easier. 3 pi over 4 corresponds to 135 degrees. So uh, 135 degrees, we, uh, of course, we have our, our trig ratios for sine and cosine and tangent, perhaps by, uh, by table, although you might be using the unit circle approach. Uh, some method. So the sine values as you go from 0 to uh, 30 to 45 to 60 to 90, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the sine of 0 is 0, the sine of uh, 30 is a half, the sine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2, the sine of 60 is the square root of 3 over 2, and uh, the sine of 90 is 1. Now, 135 degrees of course, bigger than 90, uh, 135 degrees would land us somewhere in the second quadrant. So there's my 135 degree angle. And then the measurement between the horizontal, the measurement between the 180 degree mark and the 135 degrees that we just spun up here, that's what we refer to as a reference angle. That's what we mean when we say reference angle. And it's simply the difference between the horizontal and the terminal side of whatever angle we just produced. And of course, that difference is 45 degrees. Okay? So the sine of 135 degrees is going to be the same as the sine of 45 degrees. Now, it's also important to notice that uh, which functions are positive in which quadrants. In the uh, first quadrant, all functions are positive. In the second quadrant where we are, the sine and its reciprocal, the cosecant, would be positive. So uh, this value, uh, sine 135, is going to be exactly the same as the sine of 45 degrees. And if we consult our chart or whatever technique you're using for that, uh, we get a final answer of square root of 2. So that's how you, uh, that's how you do those. And uh, so there's questions 1 through 5, and we'll be back in just a minute with uh, questions 6 through 10.